So what we're going to do now is not that much different from what we did with our GFRs. When we used our Inkscape shapes to cut those GFR layers, we're going to do the very similar thing, just slightly different, the same concept to cut our Mo lines using our Inkscape shapes. So let's go into Photoshop and I've got my GFRs, which are hidden right now. We're not really concerned with those at the moment. I've got my Mo line patterns, all right, which take up, you know, these entire layers at this point. Um, and this gives me a headache looking at these. Hopefully we can get rid of those soon. And I got my Inkscape shapes, which are also you know, hidden at the moment. So let's go into our Mo lines and let's, I'm going to approach, show you guys how to approach this a different way this time, um, which is let's add, um, I should be able to add a layer mask to this. So when I right click on this, um, maybe I can, I still have to do it over here through layer, I think. Uh, layer mask, and I'm going to do hide all. And you can see, I'm going to do this for all of them. I'm going to click here, 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 layer. Uh, oops, I can only, looks like I can only do one at a time. So layer, layer mask, hide all. Layer, layer mask, hide all. Layer, layer mask, hide all. So now you can see that my Mo lines, um, aren't visible because they're hidden by a mask. So we can actually use brushes to manipulate masks. And let me show you how this works. So on my, this is my vertical stripe pattern. If I go to this mask that was added here in the, um, in this uh, hierarchy over here, it's all black. If I change this to the white and I come up here to my brush tool, and you can see I got the little circle here for my brush. If I start to click and paint, it's now revealing, okay, that pattern. And if I change this back to black, if I brush, it erases it. So it's not really erasing it as much as I am, I'm changing the mask to reveal or hide what's underneath it, okay? So if I uh, make this, if you call, I can make this bigger. I can change my brush size here, make that a lot bigger, and now I can erase this rather quickly. But all my Mo lines here are now hidden, okay, behind these masks. Well, I can combine this with the selection tool. So right now, let me come up here to my Inkscape shapes, and let me reveal my rough, my greens, and my fairways. And let's say that I want to put Mo lines just on my rough. Um, you think, okay, well, I can come in here and I can use my magic wand tool and I can select my rough, which I just did. So now my rough is selected and I could use this to reveal those Mo lines. However, it's also going to put Mo lines over my fairways and my greens at this point. And maybe I don't want those Mo lines there. So what I can do is I can use this select tool and I can do some little bit of magic here. So right now I've got my rough selected which also includes the rough that's the area underneath, if I hide these, you can see if I paint this, I, I'm actually gonna paint and you're gonna see mow lines on my greens and my fairways, which I don't want. So let me reveal my greens and my fairways again. I've got my rough selected. Now, if I come up here to this tool and I select this minus tool, actually, let me uh, start over. I think I might've messed up here. Control D, so I don't have anything selected. Let me go to my rough. I'm going to select new selection. And now I'm going to select my rough. So now I've got my rough selected. This other option up here is for me to subtract from selection. So I'm going to select that now. And now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go to my fairways layer. Use my magic wand tool. I'm going to select a fairway. Now it removed the fairway portion from my rough. Okay. I'm also gonna go down to green and do the same thing. I'm gonna click on a green area. So now it removed all the fairways and greens from my rough selection, okay? I'm gonna come up here to select, modify. I'm gonna expand that selection. I'm gonna do it like three pixels. And I'm also now going to modify and feather that selection by three pixels so I don't get any hard edges. So now I have the area of my rough selected, okay? 
that is not my greens and not my fairways. Okay, so let me come back down here to one of these vertical mow lines. I'm going to do this diagonal mow line because the diagonal mow lines are going to go this way. And I want these lines to go uh, this direction for this area. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to switch this to white. I'm going to go up here to my brush tool. And that's pretty big. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now, let me hide my uh, Inkscape shapes. Now, if I brush here, you can see what's happening is I'm now revealing my pattern, but just in this rough area because that's what I have selected. Just my rough area, not my greens, okay? Not my fairways, but just this rough area. And now you can see, and I'm not gonna go over the whole course, I'm able to just show you like the, the, the end result. Let's say I wanna put that pattern there, okay? Maybe I want to go another direction here. So now I can go down to my other diagonal mow line pattern and start painting this way, right? And if you overlap a little bit, let me zoom in and show you, it's not really a big deal because it just gets a little bit checkered here, right? I checker that, I go down this way. So now you can see where this is revealed. And maybe here, I want to go vertically. So now I can go vertically here, right? Those stripes are a little bit bigger. I might have to go back and change that pattern, but you get the idea here, right? Yeah, those patterns don't match the, 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 uh, the width it has to be changed. But you're going to start to see wherever I go, I can pick whatever. So this one, I'm going to go horizontal. Oops, I had to select the mask here. Now I'm going to go horizontal on this one. I'm not sure why that's getting all goofy like that. That's weird. Hold on a second. I must have drawn something by accident on this. Uh, I do. I think I see that. I, I drew something by accident on that layer. I'm going to have to fix that as well. But um, So what it's revealing is something that I must have painted by accident on that layer. It's easy to fix. I'll just create a whole new layer. But now you can see here's my horizontal mow lines. Okay. I could do some horizontal ones here. You could also do checkered, like an area you want. So, like, let's say here I wanted some checkers here in the middle. I could select the other um, diagonal mow line here. And you can see if I start to click here, I can get some diagonals. And now, Actually, what we're going to do to make this look better, so let me bring up my GFRs again. Let me hide. My Inkscape shapes are hidden. I'm going to leave my mow lines on and bring up my GFRs. And you're thinking, well, that looks like shit, right? They're way too dark. Well, this is where we're going to come back in here. And now we're going to change our opacity. Change this down to about a 3. Change that to a 3. Change this one to a 3. Three is a good place to start. Later on, when they import these into Unity, that's when you're going to see, and you're going to have to tweak these and see how much influence you want these mo lines, how dark you want them to be. I always found three is a good place to start. But now that I've got those lowered down, when I zoom in, you can start to see what that's going to look like. You can start to see that mo line checkered pattern over here. You can see that my browns and my greens from my rough area are mixed in nicely into that as well. And you could also see that if I wanted to, I could put different mow lines here on my fairways. I could just go into my Inkscape shapes, select my fairways as my selection, expand it, feather it out, and then I can blend those into here. Or I could do checkers in my fairways, or I could just do checkers on my greens. I could do different width patterns, all different kinds of things you can do. But you get the idea here is now you can start to see those mow lines. And if you understand this in theory, um, 
then you should be able to manipulate your Inkscape shapes and, and change those so you can do any type of pattern that you want. I probably want to erase this here. This is all over my rock area. So that was something I didn't think of really well. But again, all I'd have to do is, this is the diagonal one here. I could just come in, back into this, switch it to black, and then I can just erase this area so it doesn't show up in my in my rocks. But this is the kind of thing you're just going to have to work with and play with and, and figure it out.